Brock here, just doing a bit of life tearing stuff. Been hanging out with one of my boys, Mike, today. Heaps of fun, got him filming for me. So shout out to him. Hey. Hey. And so, I'm just gonna show you something I really like to see. I'm over kind of between Coogee and Gordon Bay. I'm having to find some of this stuff. Let's have a look, guys. All right, comment below if you know what it is. All right, I'm just gonna tell you, it's kale. And it's growing in this garden, so Mike, give him a bit of a tour of this place. He's right here, on the side of the road. Someone just set up a bit of a community garden. We've got kale here, We've got some tomatoes and parsley, just simple. I just love seeing this, like it just starts to show me, we're starting to shift, you know, people are grounding in more, starting to grow organic fruits and vegetables, but in such a way that everyone can share it. So I've been here before, there's an apartment block right next to me. And people just, they come here and they see me and I'm eating stuff and they just love it, you know, just kind of just sharing in what they've put here for us. So yeah, one of the things I'm inspired to do this year is go around, plant a lot more gardens, learn a lot more about that, learn about organics, learn about sustainability and just kind of have a lot more fun with it. You know, right now I'm going through another transition in my life, which is kind of becoming common. You know, I'm about to uh, about to go from a car to a van, start traveling, planning to do some woofing. Woofing is basically working on organic farms and learning more about what they do there. And I'm going to be doing some sustainability projects with another friend of mine. But yeah, it's just keeping it open, just kind of really enjoying being in the moment, just being present, you know. And I think, yeah, just looking at this stuff, and these plants, and just being aware of it. I think when we eat, we don't always get to pick it straight from the garden, but it is beautiful, you know, when you see it's right here in the garden, picking it out, you know where it's come from. But if you do it, when you, when you buy it from the shop, you just look at it and be so grateful, you know. Think back, there's a farmer who's put energy into this, you know, and the person who provided the seeds, the person who provided the fertilizer and all the things that go into it, the transport people, a lot of love's gone into this coming onto our plates. I don't think we often think about that. So the process I've been doing at the moment in my life is, you know, being grateful for all those people that produce the food, but also, you know, just like sitting here, just being present with the food and then just thinking about things, you know, things of beauty, things of grace, things of freedom. So I'll often go in my mind's eye to a place like Mount Warning or you know, Byron Bay, one of my favorite places in the world, or just, you know, times with my nan, times with my partner Christy, just all those beautiful experiences in my mind. And there, just bring that back and as you take in that food and have that spiritual experience, so good. I just want to share that with you guys, so yeah, we'll do a last little tour of the garden, have a look up here, tomatoes and things. Yeah, just uh, check it out. So that's it. So yeah, last thing, put your comments below. Friend me up on Facebook, Brock Lactarian Bowen, and yeah, good chatting with you guys. Catch you next time.